Roll that hood over. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it took all the blades off the fan just about it, man. Oh, it, the fan went into the radiator. There it is right there. All right, so I'm going to put this out here too right quick. That's my dad driving that truck. And if anybody says anything negative about my dad or anything like that, I'm going to remove your comment and I'm going to block you so you can enjoy the video without your mess. So catch y'all later. Later, taters. Well, I was going to get Kevin cranking that thing up. But boy, he jumped in that thing quicker than I could get this dude off the ground here. So we are done with this job. All I got to do is finish loading out the wood here uh, that we've got laid out. And I don't have a lot laying here either because I had pretty much had caught up with, with everybody. Dad's on the way with the detach. He's going to move a scooter first. We're not going far from right here where we're at either. And so it ain't going to take long to move. He may be able to get everything moved today. I'm get up here a little bit to the side of Kevin. see the there's all smoke coming out of it right there that old dozer there that's a 850c it's had the series 2 update done on it and we bought that machine brand new and about this time of year march up all this time of year in 1998 we put uh one undercarriage up under it and did that last year we don't run a dozer much because it I mean they just don't pay to run a dozer so we're gonna fly while he's letting that thing warm up here's the wood that i got left right there which is it's not a lot at all One round is gonna about get that. I got four trucks running today. I don't lost. Oh, there's a drone. I was gonna say I don't lost the drone up there now. I can't see the darn thing, but I, I finally spotted it there. So that's all we got. It's not. That's not very much. Like I said, one round to, to pick all that up. You can just you can see so much. I'm only at about 55 feet above the ground right now. That's all. During winds already starting to pick up and feel it. There's Chad. You can see one of the main skid trails right there. So here goes Kevin. We're gonna Well he picked the blade up. I thought he was fixing to go. Okay. So I don't guess Kevin's ever gonna move. We're gonna go down here. Over here where Derek is. Get on up. Pretty high to clear that big power line down there. There's Derek. He's waiting on Dad to get here. You can see Kevin's machine, uh, 630. Derek's got it. Got it opened up. He's up there on top of it right now. cleaning it all. Had to clean all that stuff off for and go down the road. Oh, there's Dad with the detach. Look at there. 
just right. And you can see that big power line um, panning around right there. All right, I lost the audio on the drone right here in this part. It's about 40 seconds, and then the audio picked back up with the drone. But watch this truck right here. Uh, this is where he backs off the road. Now, right there where he's going to back off at, it's about a three-foot straight-down drop-off right there. You can probably see it better on a larger screen, but, I mean... He almost drove the whole truck off of it right there. Just about it. See the nose drop. And I think it was okay, but he left it running. I'll come back and talk again in here in a minute. You know what? I bet he's done hung up. Yep, that's what he did. He backed that nose off too far off that road, and he is stuck. That truck and trailer's pretty long. When he when he pulled in there, he should have pulled on way on over to the left right there where he didn't end up. But the nose of the truck so far off the road right there. Hmm. Yeah, he's stuck. He's probably telling Derek to go get that 6.30 now. I see that front tire now. And Derek just come running back. So I lost the audio again right here. For whatever reason, I have no idea. But this is when Derek just realized that something was wrong and going on. When he came running back, I actually was. I actually thought myself i didn't say it on the film but i thought dad had knocked a hole in the fuel tank right there because the fuel tank was actually sitting on the ground derek heard that thing hitting and he come flying back over to jump up in the truck to get it turned off and everything it might have been all right if would have turned it off but man it's just um stuff like this right here is is tough to uh tough to swallow and everything. I mean, things are going to happen and stuff like that. But we just we don't need stuff like this right here because we don't have we don't we don't have the income coming in to absorb stuff like this. And things are things are so tight right now too. So uh, the audio is about to pick back up. So y'all enjoy the rest of it here. It is kind of cool. I can sit here and watch all that from. Let's see how far I'm. I'm a quarter mile from them right there. Let's back her up. I'm pick back up with Kevin right here. Let's see, where is Kevin at? He should be. He's about to come in the frame there. There he is. All right, we'll go back down here where Dad and them are at. They ain't got a lot more battery to play with. Right now, let's see where are they at. There's a road. There's a power line. There they are. There's Chad. So just sitting there watching Chad. I didn't, you know, from this point, 
by the way the actions were going on, I, I knew something was tore up. I actually thought, like I said earlier, that there was a hole knocked in the fuel tank, which we've done that before. There's not many things that we hadn't done to these trucks or had happened to us since we've been doing this logging deal all these years. But I could tell by Derek's actions, you know, just reading them from where I was sitting a quarter mile away that, um, you know, something wasn't good, whatever it was. And y'all, y'all will see at the end of this video where he, I actually went around there and filmed it where he drove off in it there. So, uh, this jacked us up pretty bad for the day right there too. Uh, having it happen, this was on Saturday and right off the bat, I had loaded four trucks and, and, uh, they were fixing to start coming back in when this truck went down right here. And so we had to take one of those trucks off the road and put it under the detach. So then that knocked me down to three. We was one running five, but we had one of our drivers out. He had his kids for the weekend. And so that put us at four. And then when this happened, it put us at uh, three. So y'all watch it here right quick. So I don't have enough time to get the drone back to me and throw a battery in it and then get it back over there to where they're at. I'm, on, I'm at 32% on the battery. We'll just kind of hang here for a little bit. Maybe, maybe they can get it done real quick. We haven't had that winch pulled out on that 635 in a pretty good little while. I'm gonna stop it. No, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna let it run right here for right now. I was gonna stop it and take a picture, but. See, stuff like this is what kills you in the woods, man, on a job because it, it gets your time. Whereas if it was gonna mess him up, he should have just went ahead and moved that service truck out of the way. And then back, because I mean, you got, I mean, there's five acres of open ground right there with not a stump in it right there. Dang, if I know where the audio keys is dropping off going to, but it, it, it'll, um, two or three of these clips here, it's done it. So they, Derek has hooked it to it. And, uh, I think Derek, Derek said he couldn't. Derek's not in real good shape, you know, health wise and everything, stuff like that. So he him running around there is not not good for him for his legs and and all and uh but we ended up getting everything moved. It, and then when this happens then then you gotta go back up there and get that truck because the trucks dump the radiator slap out so it ain't got no water left in it. So the only way you can do it, seeing so just dragging that thing up out of there. So I'll be back in just a second. Watch where the truck went off right here. Let me see if I can do this without any wind getting on here. So y'all seen the drone. This is where dad drove that truck off. You see his front tire marks right here. And he ended up stopping right there off that bank. So when you seen Derek running to the truck, it actually put the the fan through the shroud, I believe, or the fan. Something went through the radiator on it though. When it got twisted up like that, when he dropped off in there and it dumped, it dumped the radiator. So, uh, this truck's dead. And smell it, man, I smell that antifreeze, man. Roll that, roll that hood over. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it took all the blades off the fan, just about it, man. Oh, it, the fan went into the radiator. There it is, right there.
These trucks, when you twist them, man, them frames a twist like that. And, uh, and it's real easy for them. If you get them in the right bind, it actually flipped this. It flipped the air conditioner belt and the, uh, alt, one of the alternator belts flipped it upside down right there. Man, it tore that radiator up, dude. That and right there is probably going to have to have one put in it, I bet. I don't think there's going to be no fixing that one. And that glass one he said he bought was torn up and hard off. It got the top of the radiator. Dang it. <laughs>